wait a minute, how cool do I look there? I've got to see that again, hold on. Okay, well, that made me look pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so this week's question is, when did I know I was transgender? Now, this is just a tricky one to answer because I guess there was no like one realization that I was transgender. What there was, was a series of realizations of various different things. Now, I guess, firstly you have a kind of, a, well, I had a realization of something being wrong, awry, uncomfortable. I had a realization of that that, that, that that was something about gender. And then I had a realization that I was transgender, which led later to a realization that I had to do something like it. So the first realization was when I was about five or six. Um, and I remember being kind of, I can't remember what the situation was, but I was in a situation where I realized that I wanted to be like girl that I knew and, you know it was kind of I didn't really know it took too long to understand really what that meant um, or what that was but it was there and I was conscious of it um, and from that point onwards I was always conscious that there was something not right or that there was that I had this I guess yearning to be you know a girl I guess um, but the realization that it was a real thing <laughs> and that it wasn't going to go away or I guess the acceptance thereof didn't necessarily come until I was probably about 20 odd um, and I remember vividly uh, it, the moment it happened so I was stood in the shower and I just burst into tears and had a massive breakdown about it because of course it was great news everything's going to be brilliant so yeah that was that um, but then I kind of I was a, at this point I was really really miserable so like I was a miserable teenager I was miserable at uni I was just miserable uh, and of course um, that doesn't make you a great person to be around but anyway, I came to this acceptance and I kind of uh, realized that I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it but I'm just gonna pretend it's not an issue because of course that will always work brilliantly um, but yeah so I kind of then managed to participate in society to a degree um, had a girlfriend for a long period of time um, and the kind of the realization that I was actually trans in the sense that I'm using it here um, was when I was, I guess, like 27 or 8. Um, and that was, yeah, that went well. So that was, I guess, I kind of ended up coming out to, well, I came out to my girlfriend first kind of by accident, um, you know awful situation, it wasn't really fun at all, um, but anyway for a while I thought that that would be okay, we kind of dealt with it, we thought it's a thing, we just collectively approached it from the same angle that I'd approached it for the previous 10 years, which was that we could just pretend it wasn't a thing and it would go away, which um, it didn't. So then, um, I guess a year or so later, came the realisation that I had to transition, and that was similarly fun. Um, but I guess I approached that um, not with not with resignation, but I guess it was just I thought let's just do this. I can do it. Um, I want to do it. My girlfriend had left me by that point, so yeah, it was kind of let's let's just go. Let's just do it, um, and I did. Um, and I'm glad I did. So that's that really. Um, now, I guess that raises a few questions, which is like, if you realized it that, that young, why didn't you do something about it then? Um, and the answer was, you know, this was the late 1980s. If I told my parents about it, I think they probably would have been fine. But would they have got any support? Would they be able to get me any support? Unlikely. Um, there are people obviously that managed to, but I would have struggled. Um, but you know, I came to it a bit later, um, but it's gone well, so that's that's that. Um, anyway, this is a series of videos, so hopefully you'll um, stay with us and subscribe to the channel and watch all the other great contributors that are contributing this week. We're going to be talking about different topics over the next few weeks, so subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff, and I'll speak to you soon.